No Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. No Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. No Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. No más deportaciones. No más deportaciones. No Let us pray. Father God, we have come here today because we are standing in righteous indignation against injustice. We are here because we are standing up for families and those who are being deported from America. My sister knows exactly what it means to be an undocumented immigrant in the United States when her opportunities to get an education was, was limited due to her status. Uh, she tried hard. She went to her dream college. But unfortunately, there was a lack of financial support. She didn't have a social security number, so she had to return back to Mexico. We have not seen my sister in more than five years because our broken immigration system does not allow us to see each other, to see our family. My name again is Cecilia Garcia, and um, the reason I support this is because five years ago, my husband was deported. And it didn't matter that I was an American citizen, that I was going to be left behind as a mom and dad for my five American citizen children. What mattered back then was a quota, because as we all know, there's a 30,000 bed quota per day that needs to be filled. Now, I ask, and this is why I support it, because I don't even wish this upon my worst enemy. The only thing my daughter wanted this Christmas in the thing I could not give her was her dad. We have exiled families right now who are immigrants outside of this country because their spouses are not allowed back in, you know, here in the United States. We have veterans who fought, protected, and served this country and because they fell into addiction, they had papers. Their papers are revoked and they're kicked out and the only way they can return back home is in a coffin because they can get a proper, respectful memorial one of these meetings we found more commonality with each other um, we found strength in each other and I just want to tell you all that thank you for coming out time and time again with every one of these fights um, yet yeah, uh, last year was geo this year's the deportations and the lead crisis uh, next year who knows but we only got each other since the end of January, I've been fielding about four to five calls a day from people being picked up and scheduled for deportation. So towards the end of January, my hometown, South Bend, Indiana, I got a call from the Bear Stains, and that's how I got involved with them. There was no other reason. It wasn't because this was a, a Democrat versus Republican issue. It wasn't because this was a this was a Hillary versus Trump issue. This is a human issue. This is Unido, jamás será vencido. El pueblo 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 unido,